you want to see how I got this less than 10 minute look, stay tuned. Hi! I'm going to start off with my Smashbox primer. Well, no, take that back. <laughs> I'm going to start off with my number 7 Beautifully Matte uh, Primer. going to use any liquid foundation today. This is just a get ready with me on the go. I'll cut that out. Probably as bare minimal um, makeup as possible. Then on top of the Beautifully Matte by number 7, I'm going to put the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer on top. Some concealer on. It's going to be my um, Maybelline Fit Me uh, in 30 Cafe. There. And I put it in the same areas that I normally would put it if I am going, if I had foundation on. And what I'm going to do is use my fingers. All right. And then I'm going to take my <clears throat> Air Spun Loose Face Powder Original Formula and translucent extra coverage and I'm going to pop that everywhere take a big poofy sponge or applicator and I'm going to dab that everywhere that I put my highlighter on my concealer and then just pat it everywhere else and I'm gonna let that cook while I start on my eyebrows and y'all know these brows like I said before I had a love-hate relationship with them brush them up and I am using the little mirror that comes with my Anastasia brow um, shadow kit. I mean, that's all you really need. If you're on the go, why travel with a big old mirror? And you have the little one here. And all you need to do is focus on these little baby brows. <laughs> I'm going to clean them up. So I'm going to take a fluffy brush. This is my uh, Real Techniques powder brush. And I am going to dust away all the excess powder. my model in the bottle for eyebrows and I am going to set my eyebrows so that they stay in place as you can see I need to repurchase this because this is like my third fourth bottle I mean it lasts me a long time, so that's why I hold off on buying this product. Alright, I'm going to take my e.l.f. Well, it's a concealer brush, but it's a nice little fluffy, fluffy brush. And I'm going to take my um, Maybelline The Nudes palette, and I'm going to go in with... Um, where is this? Well, this 
bronzy color here and this gold color here. I'm going to mix these two. They're diagonal from each other. I'm going to mix these two and use that as um, just like a base. Alright, now I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, contour kit, the original one, um, and I'm going to take this brown color here and I'm going to lightly Oh, whoops, that's the wrong one. And I'm going to lightly do a little contour, but not a heavy contour. And then I'm going to take a small fluffy brush. I uh, got this at TJ Maxx. I'm not sure. It was only like $2. And I'm going to contour my nose. That is it. I'm going to buff that out. All right. Curl my lashes. If you didn't know, something happened last week with my eyelash curler I went to um, I went to curl them and they actually um, my I don't know if my lash curler was off but it it broke or cut my lashes in half or at the end I don't know if you can see it there but I don't have any so I'll work with what I got. Alright, I'm going to use the Bombshell Volume by Lash Blast. This is CoverGirl. And this is in very black. I don't know if it's waterproof or not. I don't think it is. No. Alright, I'm going to use the number one first. Alright, now I'm going to the number two. Now to my blush. I'm going to use my Milani powder blush in Coral Coral Cove. I have Real Techniques uh, powder brush, I believe, or blush brush. I can't remember which which is which. Because sometimes I don't need it for blush. I might use it for something else. brush my Betty Lou Minizer to highlight my um, buffing brush and my studio fix again and I'm just going to buff everything together right, and for my lips I am going to use and tear me Sue. the way these smell. It smells so good. And yeah. voila! That took maybe about mm, six to eight minutes I would think. And that is all that I have for this. I mean this is something that's like if you're just running out to do some errands and you want to put a little bit of color to your face or make yourself look a little bit more presentable than putting your hair up in a ponytail and just running your sweats then this is the makeup look for you and um hey just let me know if you want to see something else um i probably um will have another tutorial on how i 
do my hair wavy for my summer look. I posted a picture on Instagram and I got some likes and I posted some pictures on Facebook and I got some likes uh, with the curly hair, wavy hair. So, because usually I wear my hair straight and since it's colder outside I don't like to wear it wet because sometimes my hair is still a little damp. But other than that, I probably will do a, a tutorial on that. And um, that is all that I have for you. Just thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel, Blazing Attitude. And see you at a later time. Bye.